Welcome back to another back page gaming video. Today we are joined by Sam. We're having a look at Hero Lars Ricken. It's a player that looks pretty interesting. He's got some really well-rounded stats. I'm going to be asking Sam some questions and we're going to get down to what is so great about this card. Let's get into the review. So Sam. Yes. You've been using Lars Ricken, a player that some might say looks average. Yeah, I mean... But when, when I feel like you're here almost to defend him. I am. I, I'm, I'm his yeah. white knight, Jack. I am. <laughs> uh, I, got him, I, like to hear. I got him untradeable a couple of weeks back. Yeah. And when I first looked at it, I, I, I saw the hero come up. I was like, yes! And then he mm. came up and I saw the stats. I was like, oh. No! <laughs> yeah, well, not no, but like, oh. And then I looked yeah. I looked into the, like, the in-games and I was like, actually... They're okay. Yeah, they're okay. They? And he gets a strong link to... Um, any Bundesliga player, and I like I like the two defenders that I'm using from there at centre back. So he yeah. gives me the strong link, and I was like, okay, let's give this man his bloody shot. Yeah. And I have not looked back, Jack. I have not looked back. Really? He has been easily mm. my favourite midfielder at the minute. Oh lord. Um. Oh lord, that's a big shout, Sam. That's an incredible shout. Yeah. Um, Especially actually, hang on, hang on. Let, me, let, well. me, let me rephrase that. Okay. Yeah, I was Marcus, just Lorente. Yeah, Lorente is by far the best. Yeah. In terms of goal threat, though, just to give you an idea, so Lorente yeah. has played 100 games. Yeah. He's scored 10 goals with 18 okay. assists. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Ricken has played mm -hmm. 90. Yeah. He scored 25 goals with 17 That's assists. That's pretty nice for midfield, to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, it's, so, or most yeah. of that is like blasting as well. Like He has yeah. such a power shot. Yeah, he's got 87 long shots, which is pretty nice. Yeah. So, like I said, I suppose you've kind of answered my first question, saying that his stats look a bit average. So, do you think he plays above his stats? Easily. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Like, especially this pace. Um, yeah. He just, I've, I mean, I do use a hunter on him. Yeah, but he burns left backs and right backs constantly. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, I know you're a bit of a madman in terms of positions. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know we've got the Kennedy saga, yeah. left mid up, left back, etc., etc. So, where do you think Ricken plays his best football? Is he a cam? Is he a centre mid? Is he a you know a wide cam? Or you know what's what's his role? Where does he play best? He's not a cam. Ooh, okay. You could play him cam if you were in like. Division six downwards, and you'd be yeah. more than happy with him. I think once you start to get, I mean, maybe division five downwards, division four downwards, but as soon as it starts to get like towards your the end of your your skill, yeah, height, yeah, where you're punching above it, up, yeah, where you're where you're already challenging with the people that are around your skill level, yeah, I wouldn't use him cam then. That's okay, when you want him fair. as a box to box centre mid. In a four-one-two-one-two. Yeah. So, when you're saying a box-to-box, -box, obviously his defending stats, they're not bad, no. but they're not great. So, do you think that's a problem for him, or do you think the 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 offensive capability kind of cancel it out? You use him as your offensive man. Yeah, I have. Uh, I use Lorente CDM, De Jong on the other side, and I think I yeah. use De Jong on stay back. And, uh, and you know, have Rick and kind of go forward a bit more, yeah. A bit more freedom. And so, he's also an absolute chongus. So the defensive stats don't really matter because he's just quite strong. And he's got such a big in-game body. Yeah, I mean, he's only got 68 strength, which I'm telling you now is a lie in the game. Yeah. He muscles I feel like everybody. a lot of players have got that this year. <laughs> yeah. Like an absolute lie for their strength. I think body type this year is really. I know we, we I know we talk about it all the time, and every year we say, "Well, it's important this year." But this year it really is important. <laughs> what um, is this body he seems type? to, he seems to like beat people out a bit more easily if you've got a, a stocky body type or whatever. So he's a hero, Sam, yes. which I think also adds points to him. It's yeah. a different type of card. It's a fun card. I know when I was using Melito. I was having a great time just because it was such a different. You know, you've never used them before. Yeah, I never even really heard of this guy to be honest. Neither with you, I. <laughs> um, I don't think a lot of people had to be honest. He's a bit of a bit of a niche one. So, in terms of cool factor, you know, if people are looking for a car to build around, it may be in the lower divisions, and they've got, you know, they've just say they say Sam, they've just finished champs, and yeah. they've got uh, an injection of sixty k. 
is Rickon a player that you'd want to build around, or is he kind of a card that slots into a team that's already, you know, already finished or almost finished? That is such a difficult question. Ooh. Um, I would say, yeah, because his best position is a, a centre mid in a four-one-two-one-two. Yeah. They're not a position I would ever recommend building around. Yeah, yeah that's a fair point. I think your CDM, your cam, like and your strikers. Or or something, yeah. That that spine is where you build around. Yeah. I just think he is a a surprisingly good option at that centre mid spot. And in yeah. fact, I'm I'm I've now switched to a four four two. Where's he playing now? He's playing left mid, right. bro. Which is I, 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 I understand how rogue that is. That is pretty rogue. And he has been Hunter brilliant. Not bad as a winger. He just he's brilliant there, Jack. He's such a goal threat. <laughs> like wherever you play him, he ends up being a goal yeah. threat. Like it's just he, he has got eighty six positioning on his shooting. That could be which part of nice. it. So if you put a hunter yeah. on him, that goes up even more. Um, up to ninety one. So that could be part of it, Fine. and we've said this year, position seems to be quite a big thing. Yeah, hundred percent. And the fact, that honestly, I think this year having even like position, I don't know if this is my tinfoil hat on, but position, I think, is more than just in the box. Sometimes I feel like they take up better positions just in general. Oh yeah, like but you know when I'm breaking out, especially when yeah. people are like pressing and in things, spots, he um he seems to just earn that yard of space to be able to pass to him and then. Do a bit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, definitely. He's just. I think, Sam. I want to know your favourite thing about it. it. To be fair, actually, one one other question. He sounds like he's got place for the badge trait, does he? Oh God, yeah. Yeah, he sounds like a little trait. You know, like, you know, when you've got like a reliable player. Yeah. He's not the world, you know, the world beater. He's not a worldie, yeah. um, but he does do his job, and he does his job well. Unsung hero, maybe. Yeah, um, you could play him anywhere, like left mid, right mid, yeah. centre mid, anywhere across striker, the field, pretty much. I would even say. Yeah. And, yeah, he's and a seven I, striker with a hunter. I don't think you'd terrible. like hate him. I, yeah, I think it'd be very hard to job. just hate him, yeah. So, Sam, why don't you take us through the end card? I'm, int- I'm very intrigued what rating you've given him. <sighs> I, I've. <laughs> I, ha- I know I it's going to take it's gonna off- make me mad, actually, isn't it? No, no, I, I had to okay. take off the the love, yeah, and yeah. and be realistic about it. I mean, if I'm comparing them to Lorente and De Jong, yeah, I would I would give them a like a nine point five personally. I think mm-hmm. they are top tier centre mids at the minute. Yeah, they are. They are really. You good. can't beat them. Um, I think a fair thing would be like an eight point seven five. Okay, that's pretty. Uh, that's higher than I thought it would be, to be honest with you. And I think he would match De Jong and uh, Lorente yeah. with five more physical and ten more defending. Yeah, so a different card. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> but honestly, like he doesn't well, play that this is far a good off point, them. Sam, that in a in a month, pretty much like five weeks time. Um, people will be getting a hero for free yeah. um, from the Ultimate Edition. If you got Rickon, maybe I know it's, it's December, so it's a different beast, but I suppose he'd be quite a good shout then, you know, for the, the starter players that are still struggling maybe to go up the divisions. Definitely, yeah. I mean, you could almost be quite happy getting him. Oh, um, God. If you're in that position. I mean, for us, I think, in a month's time. Maybe not so much. Yeah, I think he'd probably at that point be a really good sub. Yeah, centre mid. Um, especially if you're chasing the game and you want a more attacking central midfielder. Yeah, I think he would be outstanding there. Um, okay, so value for coins, Sam. He's only sixty k, which is very cheap for a a special card like this. With with you them know, stats just... that I said to you that he's got for me with his goal contributions in those games yeah. and stuff, it's hard. I can't. Okay, player into or something. Yeah, I mean for sixty one k, bro. I'm finding it hard to not say ten. Um, you know what? I, I wouldn't be mad because because I know that's a lot of love as well. and the the great links. I I think I'm going to say nine. Okay, that's fair. I think yeah. with him being German and from the Bundesliga, that's a good thing because he obviously gets perfect links to like Sané, 
that Verts, Kimmich, there's loads of players. Yeah, there's loads. Yeah. Um, that's fair. And then you used a Hunter on him. I so did. Kind of, yeah. Uh, and best links. I suppose we've kind of already discussed it. Really, there's only you know Bundesliga. Yeah, Bundesliga, pretty much. But um, the, the two that I'm using him to link to is Klosterman and Lacroix, sweaty defenders. It allows yeah. me to use them with Neuer in goal in a four-five-one, mm-hmm. and then the rest of the team I can do what the hell I want with. <laughs> like it is. Uh, such, I suppose it is quite nice. Yeah, yeah it's it such a, a valuable link in there, and because he ends up on ten in that centre mid spot yeah. as well because of those. It sorts two. everyone else. Out. Yeah, it's. It's just such a good link system. It sounds it. So, I think that about covers it, Sam, really. Any last word you want to uh, get out to the people? Uh, don't sleep on this man. Do not yeah. sleep on this man. If you come up against him and you think, <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> you are wrong, Leonidas. Like Sam's about to slap you there. <laughs> yeah. That's when I'm about to score a anyway. trick with Rickon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that about covers it, Sam. Unsung hero, perhaps, Lars Ricken. Quite literally unsung hero. I didn't even realise I made that joke. Oh, yeah. So, um, if you've liked the video, drop a like down below. Drop a sub. We're so close to 1.2. It's insane. Sam, I've been Jack. And I've been Sam. And we've been Backpage Gaming. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao, amigos. <laughs>